You looking at me? Seven tweet? Equator with black to don't go a bit of... Objective. To solve equations with fractional coefficients. Obviously. So, um, to solve these, you know what we're going to do. We're going to multiply by the LC dizzle. So I look at this um, fractional, these are these uh, equations with fractional coefficients here. Um, and I'm going to solve for x, magically. I say, what's the LCD with 3 and 5? It's all, it's 15. So I'm going to multiply this side by 15, and the left side by 15. And I end up with, when I multiply 15, well, 15 divided by 3, is 5, so I get 5x. 15 over 5 is 3, so I get 3x plus 2. 2 is 30. So I end up with 5x minus 3x minus 6 is 30. 5x minus 3x is 2x. Add 6 to both sides. x is 18. 2 what's are 36? Well, 2 18's are 36. Sweet. All right, let's do another problem here. All right, what do we got here? Right, cool. Um, I have um, another one with a little problem here. I've got a 3, a 4, and a 5 here. And these things up top, so they're not looking at the numerators yet, just worrying about the denominator. Um, what's the LCD of 3, a fo, and 5? Well, the LCD of 3 and fo is 12. Um, the LCD of 3, 4, and 5 would be, well, can you guess? 60. Oh, great. I want to do this. All right, anyway, so I will do it. I will do it anyway. Multiply both sides by 60. Well, 60 over 3 is 20, so I end up with 20 n plus 3s minus 60 over 4 is, well, 5, 12, 20 something. 25? No, what am I thinking? How many? F two. F what am I? Sixty over four. Someone help me out here. Half of fifteen. There we go. Oh my goodness, my brain is melting. I have a melting brain. Sixty over five. Tw One twenty. Twelve. I mean, twelve times n minus two. I have to apologize. My brain gets like toasted once I do lots of problems. I stop. My brain just stops working at a certain point in the night. Um, yeah. So if 60 divided by 5 is 12. Now, what do I do now? I uh, distribute. 20n plus 60 minus 15n is 12n minus 24. Nice. So I got a 20n negative 15n. All right. Subtract. I get 7n over here. Add 24. I get 84, therefore n must be 12. All right? Oh my god. All right, let's see if I can focus now. All right, here we go again. I have some more fractional coefficients. 2 and 3, LCD obviously is 6. Multiply this by 6. Half of 6, oh, 6 times a half is 3. X plus 4 is 6 times 2 thirds is negative 4. That's minus 1. 6 times 3 is 18. 3x minus 12 minus 4x plus 4 is 18. 3x minus 4x is negative x. Negative 12 is negative 8. 18. Add 8 to both sides. Negative x is 26. So x must be negative 26. Right? And we did that one kind of fast. So you might want to... I might have messed up too. I apologize. I'm trying to get through these things kind of like... Alright. I have a 2. This is over a 1, this is a 4, this is over a 3. 4, 3, and 2 all go into 12. So I'm going to multiply this side by 12, this side by 12, okay? 12 times half is 6. 2x plus 5. 12 times x is 12x. 12 times 3 quarters, you're just saying, hey man, what's 3 quarters of 12? That's the, what you're asking yourself. What's 3 quarters? Well, 1 quarter of 12 is 3. 3 quarters of 12 must be 9. Uh-oh. Oh, good. I'm going to reduce that. 9, 3, that becomes a 3. Woo! I should have written this whole product down over 12. That was kind of tricky because I have a product here. So I should have multiplied these first and had 3 times this in the top over 12. I still would have had 12. I still would have gone, you know, canceled out or whatever. But, you know, 
know what I'm saying? All right. So what do I end up with? 12x plus 30 minus 12x is 18x. And what is that? Plus a 7 plus 21. Well, 12x minus 12x, so I get a 30, 18x plus 21. I'm going to subtract 21 from both sides. So minus 21 minus 21, I have 9 equals 18x. I have 18, which is 1 half. It's kind of tricky. All right, so did you follow me there? I'm um, just looking for the LCD, multiplying both sides by it. All right. Uh, I've done some of this stuff before, but this is a little bit more challenging. Um, the coefficient of this guy is one third. The coefficient of the guy is one six. I look at three and six. I know that six is a one under here. It's my LCD, so I multiply the left side by six. I get a six. Then I multiply this whole side by six, and I get well, what's one third of six? Two. <coughs> and what's one sixth of six? It's one. So I end up with six equals two x plus twelve minus nine plus x. 2x and x is 3x, 6 equals 3x, 12 minus 9 is 3, subtract 3 from both sides, you get 3 equals 3x, x therefore equals 1. Alright, let's move on here. Yeah. Alright, we have plenty of time here, plenty of time. Here's a super duper tricky one here. Um, got a 10, a 2, and a 5. They all go into, you guessed it. 10! So, you know, this guy right here can be written like this, 1 tenth times x plus 3 eighths. It's the same thing as this. Minus, and I can write this guy as 1 half times x minus a. And I can write this guy as 1 fifth x. Doesn't matter, they're both the same thing. Multiply both sides by 10. 1 tenth of 10 is 1, so this becomes 1. Half of 10 is 5. A fifth of 10 is 2. So I get x plus 3a minus 5x plus 5a equals 2x. Solving for x here, x minus 5x is negative 4x, 3a and 5a is 8a. Add 4x to the right side, and I get 8a equals 6x. Divide by 6. Reduce, I get 4a over 3 equals x. See that? Wasn't that wild, man? So, doing the same thing I did when it was all numbers all over the place and just an x, but taking care of these babies, you know, being very careful with my arithmetic and stuff and going step by step. And I'm going to be I'm going to do this. And you can do this, I can do this, we all can do this together. If we hold hands, if we hold hands, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Have a nice day.